next uh, like we will show the the Zmax demo uh, so for the Zmax demo we, we we use this the the paper that we have in our knowledge base article at Zmax website so you can download the file here so here is the workflow that I showed in in my previous videos that how it works let's go to the Zmax and uh, open the uh, the the Zmax file so as you see here I open the Zmax file so uh, for this file so in the Zmax uh, we have different parts so here is the surface and then we have a coordinate break here uh, here is our mirror uh, we have some uh, other lenses and then finally at this point we have, have the image we want to analyze the image at this point so we want to like uh, see the, the structural thermal deformation because because it's high power laser definitely uh, the effect of temperature and the structural deformation is important for the for the optical design so let's uh, see the results so as you see here here is our spot diagram here is our wavefront error and then here is our RMS so we don't want to go to the detail of uh, optimization as you see here we, we have some uh, some symbol like V as a variable so for to get this result we need to do optimization and uh, um, like tolerance analysis so which which you can find here so uh, actually uh, to import the structural and thermal deformation uh, you need to access to ZMAX Enterprise version so in the ZMAX Enterprise version you see a star tab here in a star tab uh, like I can I can uh, I, I can see different options like multi-physics data viewer multi-physics data loader uh, we can we can view our uh, our uh, uh, data for instance, for surface four, uh, I want to see the the deformation. Uh, you can see this is the deformation of mirror, and then um, like um, I can uh, see like surface eight, surface nine. Here is a different deformation, so now we can import the, our data multi-physics data you see here surface deformation tabs and volumetric data this one related to the structural deformation and volumetric data it related to the temperature so i can load the data i can go to the one of uh, folders like uh, We can select then click open and then after after this you see that we have like nine data for the surface deformation four for the volumetric so for each one let's say i assigned surface four to surface four surface eight to eight you see also surface nine you see the uh, on the right side surface 10 surface 11 surface 12 13 14 and 15 so this is for structural deformation and for temperature I use the standard 8 temperature you can do temperature or index so surface 10 we 
this data is temperature data just is the text file 12 12 and then 14 is the temperature so now I put apply Okay, so I'm waiting for loading multi-physics file. So now you can see how uh, wave front map, spot diagram, and uh, RMS spot radius changes. So let me, I'm waiting also for the wave front map. You see the wave front map. So now you can compare the defect effect of a structural and thermal deformation. And also you have some other parameters. Now we are interested to see what is the effect of thermal and what is the effect on a structural deformation on our optical performance. So I can, like you see here, we have two, two tab, like surface deformation option and volumetric data option. So if I ignore the just volumetric data options, I mean, just we want to see the structural deformation, you can see uh, how much RMS spot size, radius, wave runner, and spot diagram change. Now, if I ignore also the deformation part, you can see we have the like uh, ideal case without a structural and thermal deformation. So also we can include just uh, uh, deformation without rigid body motion. So and here is the performance analysis. So in the performance analysis, you see that like surface floor, which is this surface, surface floor, it's a mirror, has, is very important for like optimization. So we should take care of this surface for structural and thermal effect and uh, so uh, I hope I hope this video can be helpful for you if you any, have any question about how to model a structure on thermal deformation on your optical system please reach out to us thank you